First thing you got to do is subscribe. Second thing you got to do is follow me on Instagram at C E D D Y N A S H. Uh, make sure you get on. I'm doing the features and everything. I'm flying out to Atlanta basically tomorrow and shit like that. So I'll be in the studio Thursday and everything. We got eight slots left. So, you know, Cash App, Dollar Sign, Seti Nash, and PayPal, Seti Nash. It's your favorite look, especially after I done spoke. Not smoked, spoke. That's why I do my hands like this, goddammit. Hey, look, so I didn't know y'all cared about Peso Peso like that, cuz. I'm going to keep it a dollar with you. I had no idea. I heard of Peso Peso with the homie Drophy. You know what I'm saying? Drophy really be spitting that shit. So shout out Drophy and everything. Go check out his music, bro. But uh, listen. There is no goddamn way in this world that y'all should be trying to be like these fucking rappers. What do I mean when I say that? These dudes are no longer catching state cases, cuz. They catching Fed cases. Now, they saying with the feds, you doing like 92 to 94% of your goddamn time, bro. Peso Peso got picked up by the feds. You see what I'm saying? He said they took everything from took $100,000. Now, I don't know what cuz do outside of this music shit, and I don't care what he do outside this music shit. I'm not going looking. But what I'm saying is, is these repercussions that y'all have, bro, that money that he got, I don't even know if they're going to give it to him to even fight for his case. Now, what he said was that basically was a rearrest and some more shit and everything like that. I have no fucking idea. I ain't his lawyer. I ain't talked to nobody in this circle or nothing like that. But I'm ready to tell y'all this, bro. Unless you ready for this shit that comes with a lot of this shit, stop doing this shit, bro. There is no goddamn reason once you start getting legal money that you should keep on with the bullshit. Go get the fuck away from it. And I'm not saying Cuz was doing it because he sounds supremely confident that that shit is going to be dropped. And they saying buddy is snitching. I have no idea. You got to wait for that paperwork, bro. He said he facing 10 years, but he said he feeling real confident that he going to beat it. And hopefully so, man. Hopefully he ain't do no fuck ass shit. Hopefully, you know, he, you know, just got a bad rap and they fight him and everything. But, you know, everybody has the most confidence when they goddamn going through it and stuff like that like your lawyers get to telling you certain shit like oh yeah i can get this i can do that i know this da i know this cop and shit like that and everything like that because when the feds come like kevin gay said they like jesus christ they know everything cuz so hopefully you know he get a irv Gotti in a situation and chris Gotti and beat it i don't want to see nobody go to jail bro but if he ratting and shit like that y'all gotta understand when you niggas rat bro they don't just let you go free you still got to sit it down. You just get a reduced sentence because you still going to jail. So you might as well just thug it out, stick to the cold like you supposed to. Because your bitch ass ain't really coming home. And that's not calling peso peso bitch ass nigga. I'm saying for those who doing shit and thinking about snitching, you still going to jail.